And here I'm going to remove these screws that is already already loosened. So I can show you what's below the barrel bridge, which is of course the barrel, among other things. Here removing the transmission wheel. the ratchet and here you can see the click spring I have to do this carefully so the spring doesn't fly away and here you can see that uh, there is a point of very heavy wear on the bridge you can see that of course that this is a this is an old movement and apparently it wasn't uh, well cared over its life so what you are seeing here is the fixed pinion that it spins together with the with the stem as we manipulate the crown and this is responsible to transmit the movement from the stem to the transmission wheel and from the transmission wheel to the ratchet the ratchet wheel is screwed directly on the, the barrel arbor or mainspring arbor that you are seeing here. Here I'm removing the bridge. This is what we have right below it. We have part of the keyless system. This is what is responsible. It, it, acts, it acts like a clutch that is responsible to change from the winding function to the hour setting function. This is what we'll see on the next part of this video. And as I said before, the barrel, the mainspring barrel is, is a wheel itself, it is a gear, it's the first gear of the gear train. And here it is, the mainspring barrel. Here I'm open the, the barrel, I remove the cover, this is the barrel cover. And here it is, the barrel with the mainspring inside. Here, of course, it's completely unwound, but as we wind it up, what it actually does is to wind over this, this arbor. And this is basically the, the energy source of the movement. The first place that the energy goes to is to this wheel that is right on the center and therefore we call this the center wheel. That's exactly what it's called. So this is the first division of energy and multiplication of speed uh, over the, the gear train. So as soon as the energy is going from the barrel to the balance wheel, you have the, the energy being diluted as the speed is increasing. And here is the start of the magic. This wheel here, it turns exactly at the speed of one turn per hour or one turn every 60 minutes. And it's exactly where the minute hand is mounted as we are going to see on the sequence of this video. But here you can see that the, the ISO of this gear, it goes through the entire movement, so it can 
uh, go through the main plate to the other side of the movement so and and also uh, go through the dial so you can assemble the minute hand over it so if i apply force here you can see that the watch works normally i am applying force exactly on the same on the same direction as the the mainspring is supposed to to give the energy And now I'm going to remove the gear train bridge so you can see what's below it. So here is the bridge with its jewels the jewels they work as bearings they are the supporting point for the isos of the gears and i'm going to make a video specifically about the jewels but why we use uh, jewels it's because they are uh, in this case they are rubies but it's because they are completely polished they are perfectly polished the surface it's it's very flat and very very sleek so the friction is the minimum possible so you don't lose energy of course and in these recesses that you can see on the center of the jewels is where the oil sits. That's where we put oils on the, on the movements. Those small sinks on the jewels. And there and only there is where the oil goes. Here with everything assembled, what you see on the inside of the sink is exactly the gear isos. In this close-up you can see the pivots which are the tips of the isos and how the gears connect each other through the pinions. If I move the barrel a little bit, you see that all the other wheels, they try to move as well. Of course, that everything is a little bit loose here, because uh, it's not, uh, it's without the support of the bridge. As you can see, I move the barrel, which is the energy source. The energy then go through the center wheel that spins at a speed of one turn per hour. And then to the third wheel or intermediate wheel. And this, that is the fourth wheel or second wheel. That as the name says, it spins at one turn per minute or one turn every 60 seconds. And the ISO is a little longer as well because on the other side is exactly where the second hand is mounted. In watches that have the uh, a second, a central second hand, the only difference is that either the fourth wheel is exactly at the center of the movement and it have to go through the center wheel. So the center wheel ISO is is like a pipe so the fourth wheel iso can go through this pipe or 
the fourth wheel stays in the same place as this movement, but you have a small pinion that transmits the energy from the fourth wheel to this pinion with a very long ISO, so the, the second wheel can be mounted on the other side. And this, all that we have here is the escapement itself, which is composed by the escapement wheel here, and the pallet fork and the balance wheel that I will remove right now. Here, removing the balance wheel and all that is left is the pallet fork and its bridge. Now it's completely free. By the way, just as a curiosity, this pallet fork instead of rubies, it uses sapphires on, on, on the jewels, uh, which as I already mentioned on the, the video about sapphires, uh, rubies, is, rubies are actually red sapphires. They are the same composition only with the with the addition of chromium to make them red but it's basically the same material and all that is left here is the the main plate which is the the move the movement chassis if you will so these are the parts that are involved energy source and the regulating organ going through the escapement, the escapement wheel, the pallet fork, which makes the tic-tac, the fourth wheel that makes one turn per minute, the third wheel that it's just an intermediate wheel between the fourth and the center wheel. And the mainspring barrel that that makes uh, a few turns through the entire power re reserve of the movement. Um, it depends from movement to movement, but it's usually anything uh, between three and a half to six and a half turns through the entire 40, 38 or 40 or 42 hours. Uh, that it's usually usual from from this kind kinds of movements. And on the sequence of this video, you will see exactly what is on the other side of the movement, right below the dial. So, keep following. <laughs> 